Hey everyone, Allison here from Protocase with another Prototech tip. Today we're going to talk about a special finish for copper called tin plating. Protocase manufactures custom sheet metal, CNC machined, and 3D printed enclosures, parts, and panels in two to three days. Because we want you to be able to have your designs built as you envision them, we offer a number of different finishes to suit your application and requirements. We've already covered a number of these finishes in other Prototech Tip videos, including powder coating, anodizing, and chem film. Today I wanted to talk about a particular finish for when you're making custom parts out of copper, called tin plating. Copper is extremely useful for its high conductivity, along with exceptional formability. This makes it ideal for electrical and electronic applications. Typically, copper is left unfinished in order to uphold its electrical conductivity. However, you can opt to have your copper parts powder coated using masking for connection surfaces. This could be for aesthetic reasons or to enhance radiative cooling. At Protocase, we offer tin plating as a finish for copper. Tin plating is applied to copper to further enhance the corrosion resistance, electrical conductivity, and solderability. The process involves a simple immersion technique that deposits pure tin onto the copper part. This pure tin has many favorable properties. Fine grain tin structure, great chemical resistance, excellent adhesion, highly resistant to corrosion even under exposure to humidity and salt spray, highly solderable. Let's go a little deeper into point number four, corrosion resistance. Copper has a natural tendency to oxidize and erode, especially when consistently exposed to certain harsh environments. Here's a comparison of a new copper part that was just fabricated this week, along with a copper part that's a few years old. Once tin plating is applied, the tin that's deposited onto the copper part is going to act as a shield to inhibit oxidization. This is going to extend the life expectancy of your part. Plus, as mentioned before, tin plating creates an optimal surface for conducting electrical currents, which makes it an essential part for electronic applications. After your copper part has been tin plated, you will notice the color change to a matte gray. The brightness of this color is going to be dependent on the material thickness, age of the tin solution, and the dipping time. There are some size restrictions to keep in mind when it comes to tin plating. The tanks that the parts fit into are 55 inches long, 40 inches wide, and 30 inches in height. So your copper parts should be smaller than this in order for them to be able to sit comfortably. Finally, similar to anodizing, the tin plating process is carried out by a third party. This means there's going to be an additional lead time. For more information on our tin plating finish for copper, check out our website. As well, check out our blog for posts about other topics around custom sheet metal fabrication and CNC machining. Thank you for watching this week's Prototech Tip. We'll be back with another one next week.